What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we're going to start out our journey through the guns that I'm going to be utilizing this hunting season. So the 21-22 uh, hunting season uh, is going to start small game in 15 days from now. Actually, 15 days including today. So 14 technical days and then I can wake up and go pop some squirrels and bunnies and other small woodland creatures that fall under the small game category. So um, I wanted to start off by talking about the different guns that we're going to be using. Uh, I got a buddy of mine that uh, I'm going to be hunting with and we're going to uh, be working together. We're going to do some stuff with PCPs. We're going to do some stuff with brake barrels and under levers and you know, just just all kinds of different air guns. You know, we want to get out and do some good uh, small game hunting. We're also going to be doing deer hunting as well as some hog hunting, uh, and this is all going to be with air guns. So I'm going to start this little mini series. We're going to take the next couple of days to talk about, um, you know, what uh, guns and ammo I'm going to be using and the setups in general. So we're going to start off by the FX Impact M3 Compact. Um, I did add the 580 bottle, as you guys know, I'm beating a dead horse, I get it, especially if you follow me. Um, but um, this is topped with the Element Helix 4 to 16 by 44, first focal plane. Um, thank you very much, Element, for um, sending me this to to try out and uh, it's it's an amazing optic. If you guys are looking for a lightweight optic at a budget friendly price, here you go. This is the one that you're interested in, the Element Helix 4 to 16 by 44. Um, I have done a little bit of painting to the gun just to kind of break it up, make it something a little bit different. I mean, I'm not trying to hide the gun from the squirrels because personally, they don't care. Um, but one thing I am interested in is this Arca rail. Um, I do plan on, you know, a lot of people will woods walk when they're looking for squirrels. Um, and, and, you know, most of what we're going to be hunting is squirrels. I like to sit and wait. Um, it's just like being in your deer stand. Uh, you guys that hunt, you guys know, you sit and you wait. And the next thing you know, those little suckers are chirping away at you. You know, it's like, oh my God. It's like the mother-in-law in the background. I love you, man. But, uh, yeah, seriously. Um, so I'm more of a sitter and a waiter, so having the Arca rail uh, is going to be nice um, to mount this into my Arca tripod and um, just simply sit and wait. So um, this is going to be one of the, the guns that's going to be utilized. Let's go ahead and grab the other PCP air gun. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. Let's go back. I got a little ahead of myself. 22 caliber shooting JSB Hades at 905. Um, very accurately, very, very accurately. Um, you know, I decided to put the, um, I decided to take the gear rail off of it and, um, go with a different rail up top there um, so um, I raised my scope up a little bit but still super accurate very well tuned and uh, shooting incredibly well ergo air grip um, the bipod is just simply to hold the gun up when I'm not out in the woods the bipod it's coming off um, so we're not going to worry about the bipod uh, it'll be sitting on a tripod or just slung around my neck. We are going to talk about single point slings because a buddy of mine, Ross, reached out and said, how are you attaching these single point slings? So Ross, this next gun's going to answer that question for you. This is the other gun that's coming Whoops, for small game. And as you can see, there is a single point sling 
attached to this gun. Picatinny mount, quick disconnect, so the gun doesn't have to be slung up. Um, but that's how it works. It just simply attaches right here to the um, to the pick rail. Uh, you can put it on the side rail if you want. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter which rail it's on. Uh, but you know, it will um, you know walk around and work very well with a quick disconnect. Um, it's what I use. So this is the FX Maverick Compact in 25 caliber. Um, this is also shooting JSB Hades. I don't recall the speed, but I'm certain that I have it right around 905. Um, I just find that Hades, honestly, for me personally, guys, they travel really, really well between 850 and 910. That's just the number. So it doesn't mean that you should be trying to match my 905 because your gun's barrel may shoot Hades and the way that you have it tuned at 980 or at 880 in tighter groups than at mine with 905. So just throwing that out there. Um, I do have the Element Helix first focal plane. This is the 6 to 24 version. Um, I'd love to put another one of the, the 4 to 16s on this. But uh, this, this scope is absolutely spot on. Um, this gun does not have the Arca rail yet. Um, I am talking with uh, um, Crawford and Lipt to get myself one of the FX Maverick chassis for the compact. Um, ergo grip once again. Uh, got this one taped with the camo. Um, you know, nice and protected. Super lightweight gun, guys super lightweight you want the ultimate lightweight there you go as far as fx is concerned because i'll tell you one gun that i thought i was going to end up using for small game was the vixen and uh i'm gonna tell you guys if you have not shot a vixen yet an agt vixen you need to go out and try one out because it is flipping phenomenal so this is going to be the other PCP gun that we're going to be using. So you'll see the two of us out with these two guns. I'm certain that I'll probably be running the Impact M3. Uh, my buddy will be running the Maverick here. Um, and we're going to be doing some small game. We're going to bring you guys that as well. Um, so uh, I think the next video that we're going to do, um, I think I'll talk about the brake barrels that we're going to be using. Uh, whether they're brake barrels or under levers, but uh, we do want to do a couple of days of hunting with some brake barrels um, Just to you know kind of get back to the fun of how we all grew up around Air guns, you know PCPs haven't been around for forever You know, well, I mean they have but you guys know what I mean It's not like they were like super popular and readily available when the majority of us were kids when I was a kid in the 80s and you know, late 70s, early 80s, you know, even the mid to late 80s, technically, um, you know, we had pumpers and brake barrels. That, that was it. I mean, that's what was available at Kmart, Dunham's, um, you know, I don't even think Walmart was even really a thing up here at that point. But, uh, you know, that's what we could get, you know, so that's what we used. Um, so, you know, kind of getting back to that, having fun. Um, we are going to be using the side shots. Um, so we'll be using the um, GoPro version as well as the phone version on these two rifles uh, to get our camera footage for you guys of some of the shots. You guys are going to have to bear with us. This is the first year that we're going to be doing hunting on Air Guns of Michigan. So, you know, there is a possibility that, you know, we're going to miss some shots um you know but we're gonna bring it to you real you know if we make if we miss a shot you're gonna know we missed a shot you know i mean the rifles themselves are zeroed in at 25 yards and understanding the holdovers at 50 um you know so you know for us you know and sitting and woods walking you shouldn't be taking shots normally or at least we we probably won't be taking shots more than 50 yards so um yeah outside of that um man I'm excited for this season. Like I said, we're going to be bringing you the big bore guns. We're going to be talking about the brake barrels. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. 
So till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Be good to each other and God bless.